Welcome back everyone to Pine Plays the Beorning and we are here at Beacon Watch where we're about to speak with Merigooth to ask her what we're to do next. Will you aid the Rohirrim? This boar tribe is dangerous and needs to be dealt with swiftly. I'm afraid that if they are not stopped soon, they will only grow stronger. Our numbers here in the East Fold are low, and reinforcements will not be coming any time soon. Go speak with Thane Kutha in the Beacon Watch and ask for whatever numbers he can spare to assist in this endeavor. Alright, I guess speaking with the Thane is a good idea here. So, let us go. Now, I don't know why they don't send the a uh, Thane's daughter instead of a complete stranger to do it, but that's beside the point. And here we are in the meat hall, a much more modest meat hall than some of the others we have, but it looks like he's preoccupied with the window at the moment. We keep safe these lands. For how long? I appreciate that you would bring this to my attention. However, you do not understand that I am Thane Kutha of Beacon Watch, and I am beholden to this watch. My sole duty is to stand watch for the lighting of Halifirian. If that beacon is lit, I will personally ride to the east. Besides, I have heard not of these orcs. They cannot be too much of a problem. I apologize, but we cannot provide you with any assistance at this time. I do, however, give you permission to act as you see fit if you deem these orcs a threat. Alright, well, I suppose having his permission is a step bigger than some things would have given me. Besides, how often do I get any real help from anything? I mean, permission, that's actually a great deal of help, relatively. What business have you with the Rohirrim? How can Thane Kultha allow this to be take place under his watch? I understand that he is duty-bound, but there are some matters that must need take priority. <sighs> allow me to think for a moment. The Rohirrim have need of your services. I cannot help but think back to the story that has passed down to every child of the Mark, the legend of King Falka the Hunter. King Folka was responsible for driving the orcs from the White Mountains. He would not allow any Rohirrim to hunt the beasts of the wild wood until this was achieved. After the defeat of the White Mountain orcs, he took it upon himself to hunt the fabled boar of Everholt. Uh, would you like to hear the story? Right now, okay, let's hear this legend of Folka. Let's go to it. Merigith, daughter of the Thane of Fenmarch, retells the story of King Folka the Hunter and the Boar of Everholt. This tale of bravery and vengeance may illuminate details of history that were lost. Well, we'll have to see if it reveals any details. But, actually, small musk of boar wasps from the north. All right. Look at this. We finally get to play a king in a session play, right? We, we're, we're playing a king. That is must must say the, the okay. He has a gold armband, I suppose that's something. But really, he's a king, and all he's wearing is a pair of trousers, a shield, and a. Or actually, I would have thought that a boar spear would require two hands. So, I don't know how he's going to wield a shield with that. Alright. Maybe I don't understand boar hunting well enough. Oh. Yeah. Let's see. Where is this? That is. Ah! North! Oh, that north! Yeah. No, don't worry. The board of Everholt is tricky for the screen. We should attack it while it is unaware. Alright, well, unfortunately... For Rohan... Okay, we have a shield bash. Puncturing below. Shield bash, puncturing below. 
and a spear strike. But let's see, okay, so therefore, unfortunately, we don't have an ambush like a warden would have. So we'll just have to start out with a really powerful glow. Now this is a big boar. I have to tell you that. Look at this. Really big boar. Hey, did that, that boar still on cooldown? All right. Yeah, not too many skills here, but I guess that's typical with the session play. Okay, I can stun him again. Yeah. Go along, go along. I guess I could hit that just for damage every once in a while, even though. Yeah, there we go. And let's all pull down again, so let's go. Yeah! We are gonna win this fight! We are going to defeat this foe. Yes, the boar of ever has sustained to its grave injuries. Yay! We have won! Oh, yeah. L let's verify this. Yeah. Is it dead? Oh, the fabled boar of Everhold collapses in pain, overcome from the vicious wound. Uh, I'm not feeling too well. Uh oh, there... What? There are orcs here? What are the orcs doing around here? I thought we killed them all. Uh, they're cheering. Our mortal enemy felled by a boar! This powerful creature did what we could not. We will take this goal and wear it as a sign of our vengeance. Our numbers will grow again in the mountains, hidden from the vile men. The orcs will rise and take our revenge with the line of Folka. Yeah. And yes, they are bowing and worshipping this boar that even though the boar is dead, it had killed the king. Well, that was quite a story. What business have you with the Rohirrim? Do you know, I never made the connection until now. These orcs must be the descendants of the White Mountain orcs from King Falka's time. It appears that they took on the appearance of the boars, who were ultimately responsible for Falka's demise. As if this situation were not already dire, these orcs do not wish simply to attack, they seek vengeance. We must attempt to speak with Kotha again. He must know of this. Alright, and I must know of which of these rewards would be best for me. Uh, well, here's a bracelet that is a major improvement over the one that I've got in my right hand, so let's take that one. Will you aid the Rohirrim? As soon as I try on this bracelet... Okay, okay. There you go. Now I can aid you. Yes, this board tribe is dangerous and needs to be dealt with swiftly. I am afraid that if they are not stopped soon, they will only grow stronger. Our numbers here in Eastfold are low, and reinforcement will not be coming anytime soon. That appears to be Kulthig approaching. Ooh, he is the Thane's son. Uh, we should make sure that he is not too badly injured. And uh, what? Oh, there he is. Hello. Ooh, you don't look too well. Hmm. Kuthing. All right. Uh, hello, Kuthing. Our mission is dire. The hunting party was small, and we were overtaken quickly by the orcs. I managed to escape, but I cannot say the same for the rest of the party. These orcs appear to be living in the tunnels within the White Mountains. You may be correct regarding their origin. They could well be the remnant of King Focus' crusade to destroy the orcs of the White Mountains. If that is true, they have been biding their time. Yep. Well, what do you say about that? Will you aid the Horse Lords? We know that they live in, perhaps, where they live and perhaps their connection to King Falka. Let me consider this for a moment. Our success depends upon our strength. Will you aid we have, us? 
We have more information now than the last time we spoke with Dane Colza. Perhaps he will reconsider his position. Go to the meat hall and speak with him once more and see if he will provide you with assistance. Okay. Uh, well, we will try this again. Ooh, once more into the meat hall, dear friends. Once more. Alright, and here we go. Sir, I have more information. I do not believe you will find welcome here. It is unfortunate to hear what happened to my son and his hunting party, but it does not change my position. As I have already said, as Thane of Beacon Watch, my sole duty is to stand watch over Halifirian and ride west when the beacon is lit. I will make one small compromise. I will allow Kuthing to assist in whatever capacity he is able. Now leave me. I must return to my watch. Well... Yes, it will allow my son, who's injured, to help you. Great. Wonderful. How magnanimous of him. Hello, let my injured son help you in this matter. <sighs> well, he gave Kuthing permission to help us. Will you aid the horse lords? I know that the Thane is duty bound, but I did not realize that he was also heartless. It appears that we must do without his assistant. Kuthing anticipated this, and has been working on a plan to strike at the Boar tribe. Oh, good. The Rohirrim will need your aid. Uh, Kuthing has already been expecting the orcs to attack, so he has begun working on a plan to strike at them first. Uh, speak with Kuthing and learn what he has planned. Okay, and what's that? Will you aid the Horse Lords? Just before my hunting party was attacked, I noticed a few cave entrances in the western parts of Everholt, deep within the forest. We were attacked near them, and I even saw an orc come through one of them. My plan first requires collapsing those cave entrances to trap them in and prevent them from summoning reinforcements. Okay. And since he's injured, I will presume that the person nominated to do this collapsing is yours truly, the local Bjorning. So I presume we'll have to get at it. And where is my... To Aldberg and to... Fenmart. Uh, I, I really don't really want my... Oh, there it is. Down this way. A, they couldn't afford one of those really impressive Rohirrim ones. Instead, we'll have to settle for a slightly redecorated Bree-style milestone. All right, so now let's head out and find this. Should be up this way. Yeah, following quest there. Well, at least this time I only have one quest, so it'll be harder to be completely misled. Up into here. And I heard a boar threaten me a moment ago, but I'm not gonna worry about that. Yeah, you gotta go wee! Well, okay, that wasn't very good. <laughs> yeah, okay, so note to self, do not imitate boars. Oh, hold on. What's going on here? Hello there! Yeah, okay. Well, the problem is about those... You know, it's a level 9 bear. And it just insists on, of course, the rest of them are great to me, so it doesn't matter. But the bear just, and I know that those clubs like to see, take a swipe at you whenever they do that. So let's get inside quickly. That's all right, here, here we have this. Let's see, what do we got here? We got three beds, three chairs, some porridge bowls. Hmm, this, this tidy little cottage looks just right. Well, hello. And, 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 of course, a 
Rohirrim child who's sleeping here for some reason. Little Goldilocks there. Anyway, yeah. Interesting, though, it calls it Peculiar Home because he certainly didn't want to call it the House of the Three Bears, which is more appropriate. But now, okay, now that we have visited Goldilocks and the Three Bears, we can head on to our next phase. Yeah. All right, here we go. Let's get down here and collapse tunnel number one. And click. Click. And get out of the way before it collapses on top of my head. Because we wouldn't want it to do that. Now, this is about in the area where we had the cave where we met Nona and and that L. So let's see, and we've got to worry about walking trees apparently also. Why are there are horns over here? I don't know. See, that's what happens. You bring Nona somewhere and horns come to the area. That, that's just the way it is. Alright. Yeah, I know. Bad pun. Bad pun. Alright, let's get back, and what do we need to do now? We need to speak with... The cool thing again. Alright, let's see if I can do this without... ...bringing along everyone in the world with me. Yeah, actually, if it's mainly boars, I really don't have to worry. I can just ride by them, since they'll just threat to attack a while while I'm uh, I'm not too sure about the horns though but that's another matter uh, let's see where are we now this is the last episode being posted before the update 18 is scheduled to launch So, based on my usual schedule, I'll probably have another episode posted that's filmed before Update 18 is posted, simply because of the way time goes and... Yeah. <laughs> Especially considering that the other choice, if I wanted to have the next post be on the day would have to be recorded on the day of launch, and then of course there are delays of possibly coming up, then there are delays of launch. I think it's best for me to film that in advance. Okay, looks like she is tending to cooking now. Uh, well, I collapsed those tunnels. Are, are you doing okay? Your aid is welcome, friend. Great execution, Pine Claw. The orcs probably do not even know what happened yet. And when they do, hopefully, it will be too late for them to do anything about it. Now, we must take advantage of the element of surprise. I think that if you sneak into their lair, it might prove more advantageous than trying to bring an army to their doorstep. Oh, uh, what say you? Well, especially when you consider that your father forbids us to bring an army there, I guess that's the plan we'll have to go with. Welcome. Stay a moment and speak with me. I wish I could go with you, but my wounds are, will only prove to be a hindrance. I do not know the orcs' numbers, but you have demonstrated that you are more than equipped to handle them. Head to the south of Beacon Watch, and not far from the Mering Stream, and you will find the main entrance to their lair. Once inside, look for the Boar Tribe Chieftain and defeat him. Yes, sir. Okay. Breaking the back of the boar. And that is what we'll do in the next episode of Piney Plays The Beorning.